do you find you think more geometrically or algebraically or you think in words or you think in concepts? Uh, I, I, I tried to wonder about that and it's amazingly difficult to actually figure out what's going on in your own brain. Um, um, it's, it's something that's very difficult to describe. I seem to have sort of some sort of algorithms built into the, my brain and I sort of know how they're going to work and I just don't know how to describe this. I mean that, there's a bit of geometric um, imagination going on in there and there's a bit of algebraic manipulation but I don't know how the algebraic manipulation works because I'm doing things with formulas that are far too complicated for me to actually visualize. I mean, I, I can't visualize the formula itself in my mind, but somehow I still know what it's doing and I've, I've no idea how this works. Um, actually, the, the, the mathematician Jacques Adamar once wrote to a lot of mathematicians asking them to describe how they thought. Um, and I, the trouble is it's so long ago since I looked at this that I can't remember what, he, what conclusions he came to, but um, there, there have been some attempts by mathematicians to research this question. I was reading Penrose's Emperor's New Mind, and for anybody who is a mathematician or a physicist that wants to read that book, just read the last third. It was a slug to get through. It was quite an ordeal to get through the first bit because it's so much retreading of similar ground, and the last third is actually where it's interesting. But in the last third, he talks about when he was in high school, he noticed that he thought differently than his peers. And then when he got to university, he thought, okay, great, I'll be around other mathematicians and physicists, so we'll think alike. But then he found that there was even more a diversity in, the, in terms of how people think. And what I'm wondering is, have you encountered that? Yeah, I, I noticed this too, that, that, that has sort of gradually dawned on me that, that lots of people learn or think in completely different ways. I mean, what, one example is lectures. I mean, I, I've always found lectures... If I go to a lecture, I fall asleep after 10 minutes. I just can't stay awake and I do all my learning from books. And I sort of assumed everyone was like this, but no, an awful lot of people do most of their learning from lectures and just hardly open the textbook. So, so there are very different styles. And uh, again, some people obviously have very powerful geometric intuition and other people have some sort of very good intuition about something abstract like set theory and a very little geometric intuition and so on.